Hey everybody, thank you Dr. Sharia for another episode of Devotional Diva. And uh, today is January the 9th. Um, coming to you for the fireplace again. It's a nice, warm, and cozy place to be. And um, I, uh, a little trying day. <laughs> I made some mistakes and did the wrong thing at the wrong time at work. I broke some glasses. I split my pants. <laughs> the day always seems longer when there's a breeze in your pants. Luckily, I, I do wear an apron at work, and um, I'm behind a counter, so you can't really see me too well. Uh, but still, it was uh, a little more trying. And um, But I try to have an attitude of gratitude, and um, sometimes that's hard to think about, though, when if you feel like things are just kind of going rough that day. But I know it's these are little things that really, in the grand scheme of things, aren't that big deal, like, Nobody died, nobody got in an accident or anything like that. So I, there's lots to be thankful for. Um, but I wanted to, so I wanted to bring up this, um, you know, I told you guys I was so excited about going to the Joel Osteen thing. And Austin, I'm always mispronouncing his name. And uh, this is his book, 30 Thoughts on Victorious Living. And it has a picture of him and his lovely wife, Victoria, on the back there. And um, I think it was like $2 at their book table. <laughs> and then when I got in there, they were like, oh, Texas number, you can get it for free. So I marched to the table and demanded my money back. I'm kidding. I just said, well, it's fine. I'm supporting good cause. So um, it's really neat. Each day it has a um, has a number day. And then there, I don't know if you can read that there. Uh, there is a Bible verse and a paragraph about it. And then a little prayer at the bottom. I thought that was really cool. And... Um, so I, I want to start out, I don't want to forget to say um, my verse, Psalms 1914, which is, May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock, my redeemer. And I say that just to remind myself that it's for the Lord's will that I do this and not my own. Uh, so back to the 30 thoughts for victorious living. Uh, the one for January 9th, or just for the 9th, not necessarily January. Because um, I, I gave, I got a calendar, a devotional calendar, and I gave it to my sister. And after I gave it to her, I was like, oh, I should have bought one for myself, too. <laughs> but, um, so, nine is, the ninth thought is, have an attitude of gratitude. And that made me think about today. And how, like, things are kind of, like, not great. But I still have a lot to be thankful for. And the verse is Ephesians 4, 29. And their version reads, let no foul or polluting language come out of your mouth kind of feel that that today especially when my plans split I didn't say it out loud but I mumbled it to myself <laughs> so it talks about how the words can pollute or they can purify and so if you constantly complain you're releasing poison into your life and complaining is not based on your circumstances it's based on your attitude and your heart um, so it's just really great and something to think about and then there's a prayer at the bottom which says dear father I am so thankful for your love and peace I am thankful that you are faithful even when I am not. Thank you for your promises of victory. I bless you today with the fruit of my lips. I give you thanks and praise all day long. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be pleasing to you today. Oh, I didn't even know that it said that. I was just reading this out loud now. Um, I decided to read the, the nice one. It was very spontaneous and I thought that's cool. Anyway, uh, so I'm excited to read the rest of these if you get a chance. I don't know if they give this out on their website, but if you find out that they give this out for free, I would totally, um, you know, text in to get this. I was telling my sister about it, and uh, I really like that. So I want to try to keep an attitude of gratitude, even if I split my pants open, <laughs> even if my car doesn't have any heat. <laughs> I still have a lot to be thankful for. I live in a nice place. It's nice and warm. Um. I'm relatively healthy, not too bad, you know, and I have loving family and friends, and I have so many opportunities and talents, um, and I just gotta reach for them, I just gotta claim my blessings, so I want to say to you out there, if you feel like you're having kind of a scrubby day sometimes, just remember to have an attitude of gratitude, is there anything that you do when you're starting to feel a little down, or maybe things aren't quite going your way, I'd love to hear from you in the comments, um, Thank you so much for joining me today for another episode of Devotional Diva, and I'll see you tomorrow. God bless.